coming up uh, with CDFP server. So currently, it's a fully functional FTPS server. The S stands for secure. Uh, I've got multiple happy users, and I'm personally using it a lot uh, as part of my Amigo S development system, actually. So I, I cross-compile on my laptop, and then I use the FTP server to transfer it to my Amigo to, for testing. But uh, when I started writing it, it was never meant to be just another FTP server. I was always thinking of something else, which was, uh, I've never been that big a fan of things like Dropbox. It, it seems to me a little ridiculous that I have to copy my files all the way to a server halfway around the world and then back again just to get it onto my computer conveniently. So uh, Zeta Sync is something I was thinking about years ago when I started ZTFTP. And the idea is I can take photos on my, on my phone and then it'll just transfer it to my computer uh, via ZTFTP. I think best thing to do would be to demo. I have a very early prototype here, so let me take a photo. <laughs> and then if everything's working fine, oh, there we go. Switch over to the workbench. And there's the photo I just took. Nice. There you go. So uh, while I'm home, I'm on the, the Wi-Fi network. Zeta Sync will take any new file and send it to my computer. Uh, I love, sorry to interrupt. I love how you say computer sure. when you mean Amiga. <laughs> That is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean it's, it's going to work on Windows as well. Um, but obviously, that's not what we're here for. Uh, I do have one other thing that is it's more in more of an early development stage. Oh, we need to. Oh, wow. Go crazy. Yeah. There's something, there's something happening with my keyboard. So yeah, at, at, this, at this stage, it's a very early prototype, just enough to be able to show it to you today. Um, if you're interested in it, I would suggest you go to the, the URL there or take a photo of the QR code and just sign up to the notification list. And I'll give people a minute or so to take that down. Um, are there any questions at this stage? So, uh, I'll ask one about uh, the sync Android and iPhone. I'll start with Android. Uh, ultimately, I would like it running on iOS as well. So, I've got to start somewhere. Yeah. to um, things on the on the internet uh, uh, the WAN, or, or is it only is it only for local on your local uh, WAN? so the, the question Hans the, the question yeah. the question is um, the synchronization is that using the mobile network to your home system or is it local LAN or something it, it's my own uh, home Wi-Fi network. So the way it's going to work, at least initially, is you get home, your phone connects to your Wi-Fi, and it'll just transfer everything that's new. Does it go both ways? or is, I mean, the arrow only goes one way. So the idea is it's a phone application that has an easy sync into Z to FTP. Yeah. Um, yeah. At least initially, I, I am thinking about having a full two-way sync later. But uh, initially, I think the, the real use for it is to get files off your phone onto your computer. OK. Any other yeah. questions on sync? I think we're good. Thank you, Hans. OK. So move on. The next thing that I want to do is 
uh, an FTP mount or a network router. So I think FTP mount uh, minus some of the bugs, and it works with CFTP server, secure servers. Uh, my goal is that it will show you, automatically find and show you the FTP servers on your local network. And then you'll see this add server button here. So if you've got some uh, servers add on the internet that you want to access as, a, as if it's a drive, then you can add it that way. Uh, this one, uh, I can already say this one is very early development. So I haven't written much in the way of code for this one, but it, it's something that, that I personally want. I, I've never had a good solution for transferring files between my Amigas. Uh, Samba's been too much of a pain to set up. And this is actually one of the reasons I started writing FTP, the FTP server in the first place. Uh, one of the other things it, it'll do is it will do file syncing and mirroring. What that means is when you set it up, this is optional, by the way, when you, when you set up CDFS, it will be able to create a complete mirror of an FTP server on your local machine. Or if you don't have the hard drive space, you can switch that off. Uh, is there anything else? Oh yeah, and and I want to be able to support all Amiga OS file attributes. One of the things with FTP is that by default, it doesn't really copy file attributes, so you lose things like the execution bit. Um, when I have this working, at least with CTFTP server, I want it to be able to support copying files with the file attributes, including the Amigo specific ones like the script bit and the file comments. So this is, where is it? Yeah, as I say, very early development. This is a, a mock-up. I don't have it working at this stage. Um, but yeah, if, if people are interested in that one, here's here's the link to that. Get onto the mailing the, the mailing list specifically for this and you'll know when there's more happening. Very cool. Are there any questions on ZTFS? Um, I have a, a quick one. I'm sure lots of other people are thinking. Is, is that based on the existing FTP mount, or are you going to rebuild that from scratch? No, I'll, I'll be writing my own one. Uh, one of the reasons for that is I want to use file sysbox. So I've, I've got a fuse file system, and I can port it to other systems as well. OK. And so file sysbox is actually easier to use anyway. Yeah. So it's going to be fuse-based? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, yes, Paul? Uh, yes, Paul. Just, just tell me. So, uh, uh, Paul Sadlik's question is, when you enable the synchronization feature, can you get to the granular level of file or directory, or is it all or nothing? Oh, I, I was hoping nobody would ask that. <laughs> the easiest thing initially is to just have all or nothing. But I, I can totally see you might want, you know, just like with you know, Dropbox, for example, they've actually added, Dropbox recently added the feature where you can optionally not sync a, a, a folder. I think it's useful to say, I do want to sync this drawer or directory, but I don't want this one. It's just it's, gonna, it's probably going to take a bit more work to get that one uh, added into the system. Awesome. Next question. Oh, wow. We drank a lot last night. Yes, LD. He did not. Uh, the FTP or are these each individual products? So LD's question.
Like uh, web dev, anything like that? Uh, not many details. Okay. Okay. Mainly because these FTP server is just FTP. Right? Yeah. It doesn't support any of It doesn't have web dev or anything else like that. Okay. At least not yet. Uh, let me check Discord real quick to see if there's any questions. Uh, any questions for Hans on the internet here? We have about 25 people on the stream. Uh, Peter says, Peter uh, Erickson, he says, thanks for the file like to be six software presentation. Uh, you've been tinkering with uh, Amigo OS. Oh, you've been tinkering with an Amigo OS laptop based on the A12.2. How is that project coming along? Yeah, sadly that was just permanently on hold for now. Uh, I had to shelve it in order to focus on other things. Is, uh, that one has been shelved, um, which is actually annoying, but with the, the other PowerPC laptop happening, you're not our only hope. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm glad the other one's happening. It's, it's moving, I don't know how fast. It might be faster to, to pour a bottle of molasses out in the winter, but we'll see. Um, next question from Niels. Uh, will Zeta FS preserve file dates as well? Oh, I didn't think about that. It sh I think it should. I, I do want it to work as a facility. So, At I mean, the bare minimum, there's usually a, a, a modification time, and some file systems have a creation time as well. Yeah. So maybe that's going to be a little bit more implementation work to, to address that. What would you like, to address Niels, that, yeah. when you say preserve file dates, I'm just curious, what do you think the, uh, the, the, the most best default behavior would? Well, I mean, synchronization, you probably want to preserve mod time as the the main time of the of the source file versus of the local otherwise the time means nothing but anyway yeah it gets even more complicated when you start thinking about time zones yeah but what was that Hans? So, it gets even more complicated when you start thinking about which time zone is the server in versus <laughs> the the other computer yes yeah Time is always fun when you start digging it. Uh, Neil says mostly the modification date, so I think we all agree on that is the best uh, primary time. Anyway, we're we're very much looking forward to this technology as a as a user. I'm I'm uh, very 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 excited to see it come out. I'll have to buy more NG Amigas so that I can use this. Um, I I know you weren't really prepared to talk about this. Oh, we have another, uh, uh, I was going to ask about Nova Bridge here in a second, but let's go back to ZFS. Um, oh, boy. So er uh, Peter Erickson is asking an interesting question. How do you feel about ZFS compared to Envoy? Is it an alternative or a complement? I'm aim aiming to, as I say, network drives similar to Envoy. So kind of like my my equivalent to Envoy. Uh, I hope that makes sense. I've never actually seen Envoy in person. <laughs> I'm per surprised say, you even know what it is. <laughs> it's that kind of idea. Yeah, we used to run Envoy, what, 24 years ago? We were messing with that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would not look at Envoy as any kind of modern thing. Right. Um. 
Uh, Richie has another question, but we'll take that offline. It, well, it also had memory sharing, as I recall. Message passing. Yeah. Um, okay, so Hans, while I have you, um, Matthew yesterday announced Nova Bridge. I understand it's in the Emmy store. I have not purchased it yet. Thank you for Nova Bridge. I'm sure for you that you're was uh, a million years ago, development-wise. Um, while you're here and you have the floor in the audience, do you want to talk about that at all? Or is there, is there anything that you want to promote it or uh, any stories around it? Like I said, I'm kind of surprising you with this, but I, wasn't, I didn't know that Matthew was going to release it tomorrow. So just give you an opportunity to talk Actually, about it. Actually, nor did I. No, no, I'm, I'm very happy that it's finally released because I talked about it last year. Yep. Uh, for for anywhere. So if, if anybody's not, uh, doesn't fully know what Nova Bridge is, it's a compatibility layer which allows Warp 3D games and the old Mini GL games to run over Warp 3D Nova. So I think the biggest the biggest thing is one, you can use your old 3D games and, and applications, and two, all that confusion that people had about you know, what's the difference, what's your, what, what, what do I need uh, with Nova Bridge that's gone. You don't need to care anymore. Uh, at least as a user. So basically, if, if you've got a, a Walt 3D Nova capable graphics card and Nova Bridge, then if you've got 3D software, it'll work for you. Yeah, very powerful. I was showing warp, yeah. warp out, wipe out, just a few minutes ago, and how ridiculously fast it is. Yes, George. Yeah, with, with wipe out, you should put the frame limits in and yeah. the little configuration. Window. Yeah, we noticed that. <laughs> yes, George. So George's question is around compatibility with the uh, large number of available cards that are out there. So I think the I think you need to have Warp Nova, right, Hans, to use Nova Bridge. Yes. And in order to get no yes, warp you need Nova, warp 3D Nova and a warp 3D Nova capable graphics card. What what's the what is the the bottom end of the that list? Is it an R9 card or which one is is uh, the radio series? Okay. Although you got to be careful because the low end of the Radeon HD 7000 series is actually they're actually evergreen cards, not Southern Island. So best look at the actual compatibility list. But the, the lower end is the Radeon HD 7000 series, so like the 7750. That'll work. Um, are you keeping that list up to date on your website? Uh, on my website? Not really. Okay, I haven't had people reporting cards that work in a while. The compatibility list should actually be in the, from memory, it's in the Warp 3 Nova documentation. Okay. There's a list of which cards uh, which cards work with it. Um, are you going to update, or did you update Graphics Bench to with the new SSL? Or uh, does Graphics Bench? I did do it. I, I I think I had to at one point. I don't think I've updated it to use any SSL, but there's definitely been an update so that it's still working. Okay. So Graphics Bench obviously is your, your graphics measurer. I haven't looked at who's got high score recently, but um, yeah, very cool. Well, I, I honestly want to let you go so you can finish Zeta FTP. Sorry, uh, Zeta, okay. Zeta FS, so you can finish that for us. Uh, any other questions for, for Hans? Yes, LD. The question is, do you still have your A22 up and running? Uh, yes. yes. Excellent. And how would I use these bug reports? So LD wants to give you bug reports. Oh, bug reports for that. Oh, well, for Nova Bridge on uh, on on A1. For Nova Bridge. For Nova Bridge. Potentially, maybe Nova Bridge. Okay. A anything Aeon related, use their bug tracker. All right. And make sure that you, because it doesn't always automatically do it. Make sure that you add me if it's a bug that you want me to look at. Assign the bug to me, the bug report to me, because otherwise I might not see it. Okay, we got it. Yeah. 
Anything else, anyone? Anything else, anyone? Uh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, I know you're working on other stuff, but that's for another day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Hans. We appreciate it. Yes. You're welcome. Okay, well, we'll give you a little bit of time back. Thank you again, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in person next year. That would be great. So, any, anything else, or shall we no, just wrap it up? we're good. Thanks, Hans. Okay. Enjoy the rest of the show, guys.